I don't know if things actually do keep getting better or if I've just got better at looking for the good or if it's a case that the more you start to look for the good, the better things actually start to get. But what I do know is that you have absolutely nothing to lose romanticizing your life. It costs you nothing and it hurts no one. And realistically, time's gonna pass either way and you are gonna keep on doing those tiny, boring, mundane, everyday things that you have the power to romanticize and find the good in. It does take a conscious effort to shift that mindset, but that power of perspective has the power to change your entire life. Hey guys, welcome back to another week. Welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Tuesday. It is the beginning of the week. I'm just about to head out to tennis. Um, it is currently like around 3.30 p.m. I'm running late. I'm always running late. Don't judge me. So, I never told you guys this, but like I started playing tennis at the beginning of the summer. Oh, I need to free some space on my on my um, memory it keeps happening at the same time I'm not even sure if my camera is like all the way focused but like I'm about to head out to tennis with my girlfriend Karamia we've been playing tennis like since the beginning of summer I haven't been like super consistent by the way but I try to you know because my job is really like stressful but like I feel like I've I've gotten a little better. I can, you know, I can serve. I can throw a ball. I mean, I'm not perfect yet, but like, I can play now. So, yeah, I'm actually gonna take you guys with me today. I charged my camera enough for me to be able to film something. But I just need a tripod. I don't want a tripod. What kind of YouTuber doesn't want a tripod? Me. Hopefully, this camera isn't blurry because I just dropped it like twice already and everything is just messed up today. A lot is happening at the same time. So, I'm just gonna edit out now and I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the court. I look absolutely crazy. I need I need to show myself some love. I've been like super busy. I've had my hair in this big since I got it done. Because I haven't really gone out. I've been like super busy with like work and life and all this stuff. So it's like what to do, what to do. When I feel like I need to show myself some love because I haven't put like any product on um this weave on my hair so i'm just gonna give it like a little treatment and i'm gonna wash it hopefully it survives the wash because normally i would go to like a dominican air salon they would wash it but like probably like few tapes will come out like one or two tapes will come out but this time i'm about to do it myself hopefully it survives that because honey it it's been ghetto it's <sighs> tennis was fun but like we were both tired so we didn't really like do put a lot of energy into it but i think we're actually done with outdoor tennis for the season we just like wanted to get a membership with the indoor tennis and i'm gonna figure that out but this week i'm just gonna do my maintenance this week also, if you guys look at my eyebrows they're gonna turn into a unibrow soon if i don't go normally i would like kind of like give it like a little shape by myself even my nails are so crusty i have to get a refill tomorrow i really need to do a whole maintenance on myself like i need to why is this not coming out like i need to <laughs> It's it, a lot has to be done. A lot has to be done for me 
this week to get back on track because mm, no I'm just gonna put a little um I'm gonna put a little treatment on it and then I'm gonna give it a little shampoo and condition I'm not gonna condition my roots by the way because conditioner would usually like take out the tape so I don't want to take out the tapes I just want to you know give it a little nice wash and then we're going to um we're going to straighten it and then we're gonna go from there so I'll be back you guys why did I get a large when I literally have small teeny tiny hands a lot is going on at the same time finished washing my hair and the tapes held on pretty good none of them came out actually which is like great like I did so great um, most of the beauty products that I got for it I ended up not using most of them because um, the hair was still very fine it was still very soft so I don't think I didn't think I really needed much because I didn't want to put like too much products and just damage the hair so i'm just gonna go in now and sit by the vanity and blow dry this and figure out how to style it because i kind of want to get like um what's the word um layers because i feel like i just do straight hair or i just do crazy hair this already has a little bit of layers because they're like different sizes but i'm gonna look up some layers on pinterest now and we're gonna figure out which one that i want to do i'm gonna put on my hairstylist boots tonight and get this done. It is Thursday evening and you guys, I'm about to head out now. Last week or two weeks ago, I bought a membership at the Equinox. If you guys don't know what Equinox is, it is like this big hotel that has a gym and all that stuff like yoga, sonic meditation, vinyasa, um, solid core and all that, all that. So my membership has just been running and I haven't actually showed up to actually take any classes at all. And today I have time, so I'm just gonna go there and spend the rest of my evening. Uh, I did a little no makeup makeup look. I think I'm actually getting there with that one. And honestly, I don't wanna say it, but I think I'm running late. But it doesn't matter because the class that I booked was for um, 5.15. And it's kind of like already 4 30 already so and equinox is in the city but it doesn't matter because i get there when i get there okay so i'm just gonna head out now and i'm gonna see you guys at the hotel why do i keep saying hotel i'm gonna see you guys when i get there i want to give you guys like a little tour because in case anybody want to see what it looks like in there or anybody wants to get the membership as well I'm just going to show you guys the basics and everything because this is my first time as well. I haven't actually showed up. I I mean, I've been to the Equinox um, a couple times now. And that's why I have on a no makeup makeup look right now because I actually want to take maybe a little selfie. And if you don't know, they have the best ambience over there. So let's see. I'm going to see you guys when I get there.
now, step the right foot back, finger left, elbow to your left forearm, press the right hand back. Now keep that sensation there without bouncing, switch legs, switch. Without bouncing, switch. And switch, sharp, switch. And switch for four minutes, for three minutes, for two, for one. So bring your left foot and touch the floor. Yep, this way you stay right in the center. Now reach up as you rise and continue to touch down. And reach up. Beautiful. That's good. Now we want to initiate this movement from our hips. Yep, so our left hip really starts to move back here. Now, can we do eight more? Keeping your arms over your head. Your Press, seven, press, six, five, four, we got it. Three, two, stay down, hold it right here. Hands behind your head, in and out for eight, seven, six, woo, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. All right, take it to the other side of your mat, please. Same exact combination. We got two butt cheeks plus getting that bow. Right, right foot on the edge of your mat. Start by just energizing your right foot. Sing it back. Roll on the pole. Good, hands behind your head. Scoop your abs up as you put your hip lunges. Wide away, open up. And take it right back. Let's take your time here. Now again, you'll notice one side might be a little stronger than the other. If your body favors one side, that's totally normal. Right foot up, left foot down. 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 Press back for eight, seven, six, four, this looks good, three, two, now hold it all the way in, tap down, lift right back up, tap down. Welcome, namaste, my name is Babette, welcome to a sonic meditation, you're more than welcome just to stay lying down, no need to come. Today I'm officially uh, launching a double restorative and sonic meditation. So I often find, you know, meditation can kind of feel like, you know, we're asking someone to be in la la land when it's actually the opposite. It can be a concentration. The goal is not to clear the mind of any thoughts, but to not, so to say, hang on to thoughts. And that can be challenging. So in sonic meditation, we have this beautiful thing of of sound. So allowing your mind to kind of fix on the sound and let that hopefully kind of empty the mind. You can give it a try. Now we have about 70,000 thoughts a day, it's a lot, so it's nice to give our minds a bit of a break. So I'm going to bring one of the singing bowls and see if you can just trace it in your mind's eye for as long as you can. Let's give it a try. Here we go. I just got out the shower and I just did my little skincare routine, but 
I just realized that I was running out on a lot of products so I'm about to head out to Sephora and also at Ulta Beauty to restock and I actually wanted to give you guys some tea like the old tea about Equinox and the old you know I want to talk about it the membership and everything but it's dark outside right now and I don't want to stay out too late because I don't get it this old daylight time saving thing how much daytime are we saving because it's not clicking it's not clicking so I'm just gonna head out now so maybe in one of my vlogs in one of my next vlogs we're definitely going to talk about it but for now let's go to Sephora <laughs> 